Hello everyone, a very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. This is your host Vaibhav for the session of daily stock. In today's session, we are going to get the interesting prospects of a IT major is the Accenture of which the quarterly results we are going to discuss. It released its quarterly results in the last week of September. So it's been almost a week now since we got to know its uh, earnings for the last quarter and uh, its, forward, its forward guidance and along with that since a couple of sessions have passed since the release of this uh, important report we also have the hindsight of the investors reaction to these uh, earnings release and in this backdrop we are going to consider the future prospects of the company and uh, how we can uh, try to optimize our positioning for the same for that we will have to look at the fundamental as well as technical side of the story which is what uh, this session is for we consider uh, both sides of the coin and we try to balance out while uh, looking for the new opportunities so for full report you can always visit the Accenture's investment relations page and uh, there you will find its uh, filings with the SEC for each quarter and also for the annual uh, picture you will also get all the data now i am going to take you through the highlights of the company's quarterly earnings release and uh, what we can do to optimize our trades moving forward this is the fourth quarter it has uh, reported increase in the revenues but its operating margin has fallen and as a result of that even on these high revenues the company's uh, net earnings are lower than what they were a year back so this is a picture of contrast where there is slight increase in the revenues for the quarter compared to the same quarter a year back but it has not been able to make that in uh, greater earnings greater eps but instead it is uh, reporting lower eps and uh, this fall in the operating income i think has been a major concern for the investors and that is one factor which resulted in the since then it has stabilized but uh, it hasn't really gone on to touch the prior level rather it is now trading sideways and it looks like that uh, for the near future future unless some clarity comes in we are likely to see the shares of the accenture consolidating in this uh, range and uh, this is the range which we will have to play with if we want to optimize and uh, profit from the current scenario now let us look at the highlights of the results for that instead of uh, looking on these statements i will take you through straight to the quarterly earnings because we are good with numbers and uh, it becomes much easier to read the numbers rather than this long winded statement. So here we have these uh, revenues for the quarter ending August 31st of the 2023rd and there you can see that uh, year on year there is an increase in the revenues compared to the same quarter a year back that is year 2022nd but now if you look closely the operating income for the company is uh, lower because the cost of uh, services has risen and that has contributed to these uh, lower earnings for the shareholders and uh, now if we have to 
see why this is happening i think uh, that was because of uh, because of higher higher uh, expenses including the headcount and administrative expenses and we have seen that uh, major companies have been going on uh, day offs and trying to take the initiative to cut cost something uh, similar is also expected for the accenture as uh, there has been flattening of the revenues there is not much of an increase in the revenues but uh, we have to wait for a couple of quarters till the initiatives like that yields result for the company as of now we will have to contain we will have to contain with uh, lower operating income and uh, as the revenues flat line and uh, even the forward guidance is uh, not much strong for the companies the company is expecting almost uh, flat revenues it is uh, projecting a plus minus 2% uh, revenue growth for the coming quarters so there is not much of an headway and the uh, picture is not likely to change much in the near future so we have to take that into account while taking the investing position for the company now if we look closely for the company's uh, expenses the interest income is uh, sharply higher and uh, if we consider the net income after deduction of the interest and uh, taxes it stands at 8.8% so the margin has uh, shrunk quite considerably from 11% last year to just 8.8% this time around and that has uh, consequently gone into reflect in the lower earning per share for shareholders common shareholder shareholders this is the geography wise spread of the earnings and uh, here the bulk of revenues for the company are coming from north america followed by europe and uh, other emerging markets are uh, contributing the lowest amount of revenues there is also break up companies earnings have been divided in each vertical the communications media and technology is uh, contributing strongly the highest number of revenue is uh, coming from the product segment and if we look at the breakup it is almost 50 50 the consulting and managed services approximately 50 50 not a total not precise 50 50 all right now let us look at the cash flow statement this is the balance sheet all right here we have the cash flows and let us see if the cash flows were positive or negative for the company and there was a positive cash flow for the company with uh, its cash and cash equivalent showing a substantial increase after the close of the quarter so that is uh, something to take heart from even the in this uh, subdued results for the company so this is a mixed bag result for the company where it has seen its uh, 
operating margin shrank but uh, overall the picture remains challenging but it's not totally bleak and that is why i think after the initial decline the share has uh, stabilized on these uh, lower levels and uh, for last couple of sessions it is going more of sideways rather than moving uh, much uh, lower and uh, that is also the technical story for the company we are not really likely to see it uh, moving in a strong way on either side i think it is likely to spend a couple of sessions more in uh, consolidating and uh, after the clarity emerges we are likely to see a directional uh, trend but uh, that is likely to take some more days right now it is uh, caught in between these uh, key levels where there is uh, some sort of support on the lower levels coming close to 90 and these are the levels on which it has uh, found support couple of time earlier as well this time around also it uh, declined close to those levels and uh, again it has uh, started to rise from those levels so this is the support zone where it has been bouncing and this time around also the similar story is unfolding but uh, i'm not uh, overtly bullish even in the current scenario i feel we need to trade cautiously and uh, given this backdrop of uh, these low being slightly lower compared to the prior swing low a strong rally is uh, not really likely till it makes a fresh swing high and then a subsequent uh, higher low now that we have uh, low, lay, low in place all we can uh, count on is uh, consolidation on these lower levels and uh, if for a couple of more sessions it holds the ground then we can uh, expect it to again climb close to these uh, prior swing high if it uh, continues to trade with the uh, formation on lower time frames like uh, hourly or four hourly being uh, on the higher side if we have lower time frame formation of high highs and higher lows we can expect it to keep rising slowly and steadily towards this prior swing high but uh, a big move is ruled out similarly since uh, it is uh, finding some support i don't really feel that this is the time to short it rather than trying to short it I think uh, we should wait it out, allow it to consolidate and uh, maybe if it uh, rises but fails to cross and hold above the immediate prior swing high and uh, starts to find resistance close to this uh, immediate swing high then we can even think about shorting it subsequently when it starts to make uh, lower lows and lower highs on shorter, shorter time frames. But for that, we will have to keep it under watch. We will have to see how things evolve. And then for my opinion, now it is in a no trading zone. And we need further clarity to emerge before we can take a strongly biased decision on either side, whether it is to short it or to go long in it right now as the things stand on the lower time frame if we look at this formation for uh, the short term to medium term perspective to change it first needs to cross and make a fresh swing high above this uh, immediate swing high unless it does that i think uh, we should simply sit on the sidelines and uh, now it is time to short it at this current juncture maybe if it uh, makes a swing low below this uh, immediate swing low and then in uh, next phase of consolidation we can think about shorting it 
so on both these counts we need to show we need to allow it to show us the way by either forming a immediate swing high or by forming a immediate uh, swing low and uh, then in the subsequent wave we can think about getting involved so we need a couple of sessions more for confirmation to come in even from the short term perspective and then we can think about going for the new trade so that is my take looking at the fundamental as well as technical side of the story and we will have to trade cautiously in case of accenture uh, thank you all for joining in if you have any query or any idea to share do write to me in the feedback and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward thank you all for joining in have a fabulous time ahead see you next time around till then goodbye